It's time to kill some consoles. I want to say thanks to our sponsor, Fractal Design. You're looking at my new case, the Define R5. They've kept the uh, clean Scandinavian design, and they've kept the silence, but they've also added a modjuvent system that allows you to choose between more cooling or more silence. Speaking of cooling, you can fit up to a 420 radiator in the top, a 360 radiator in the front, uh, 240 in the bottom, and also a 140 in the rear. So lots of cooling options. For more information, be sure to click on the link on the screen, and be sure to check out our full video overview. Now in this video, we're gonna to put together a system that's around $400 that'll completely destroy all the consoles. We all heard the uh, console versus PC thing. We're not gonna get into it. The PC just freaking wins. That's all there is to it. If you guys need proof, you can go back and watch our video from last year uh, where we talk about the different reasons that PC gaming is superior to console gaming. Now we're not here to bash on consoles, even though it is you know kind of a, a bit of fun. Um, I will bash on laziness. I will bash on uh, you know, anyone who thinks that a console is better, because that's just ignorant. If you're someone who plays games on a console, um, because, hey, you just want to be in the living room and you want to play some multiplayer games on your Wii U with a bunch of friends, you can have that. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, if you're someone who has, you know, three or four PCs in the house and you also decided to get a console for one or two exclusive titles, you can have that. So if you're on an extreme budget and you're looking for a new primary gaming system, you probably shouldn't even be looking at consoles. With a PC, you can have a much better experience. You can put the thing in your living room. It's not going to be easy mode, but don't be freaking lazy. Last I looked, uh, laziness is actually a negative trait. So in this one, we're going to build a brand new system. It's around 400 bucks. That'll kill any console. And in a couple of days, we're going to do a used system with all kinds of stuff from eBay. Sometimes you can do better on eBay, but there are risks involved. So if you want something brand new, this is the video for you. For the CPU, um, most people online are usually recommending the AMD 760K, uh, and that's an FM2 based processor. Um, a lot of people think that all the FM processors are APUs. This is not an APU, meaning that it is not a CPU with the graphics built on board. Uh, a lot of people are gonna also go that way, but I'm gonna kind of advise against that right now. So also for the CPU, a lot of people are going with like the Pentium G or even an i3. And you know what, the Pentium G is not bad, but it's a dual core, and I really prefer, you know, quad core devices. Uh, you can overclock this, and on games that only take advantage of a couple of threads, it can be faster than some of the AMD parts. Still, I prefer the quad cores uh, for the money. And as far as the i3s go, well, after you've overclocked these quad cores, they're going to be faster than the i3, or at least as fast as the i3. And the i3 is still not a true quad core, so you'll see the same performance, because Intel is stronger per core, but I just... For the money, I just don't recommend the i3s. If you guys want to step up into Intel, we're going to start talking i5s, i7s, and it's going to be out of the scope and out of the price range of this video. Uh, this price is great. If you, if it's, it's, it is a great deal. If you're going to do that, you can go over here and get this this snazzy gigabyte motherboard. Uh, not the best for overclocking, but you know it's decent for the money. What I'm going to recommend in this video is a little is something a little different. Uh, I'm going to go with the AMD FX4200. Now that is an AM3 plus uh, CPU clocked at 3.3 gigahertz. Um, and I've had much more luck overclocking the FX parts than I have clocking the F overclocking the FM2 parts. Not to say you can't overclock the FM2 parts, but um, I mean, just out of the box, these two products are almost the same when it comes to speed. The FX uh, 4200 is older architecture and that sort of thing. It's a Zambezi, but you know what? Just just get that one, man. For 59 bucks, it's a, a really good deal versus the, uh, you know, 77.99. So yeah, I don't know. You can still flip a coin, but for the motherboard, GA uh, 780LMT. Uh, this one has, you know, USB 3. It's AM3 Plus, of course. Small, freaking ugly motherboard. My God, this thing is just god awful ugly. But that's my opinion. Maybe some of you guys like sky blue mixed with regular blue mixed with all those other weird colors. Just so many different shades of blue going on there. But that's who cares? You're getting it done. Also, um, does not have surround sound or anything like that, but um, it's not a huge deal. For the uh, cooling unit, I have a couple of different options here. We have the Intermax um, ETS NS30HE for basic cooling. And this is actually a really nice sale right now, also on Superbiz. Um, this is the Thermorite True Spirit. This is a 120 millimeter um, you know, CPU tower cooling unit. This has got the nice, clean aesthetic, and it's a Thermorite. Thermomite makes some ridiculously good products, almost up there with Noctua. I said almost. Oh, you want to fight? Uh, Thermomite guys are going to be fighting with me now. All right, for the um, the RAM, 
We're going to go with A data. We've got the XPG uh, version 1. This is 8 gigabytes in uh, two sticks. And we're doing that so we can take advantage of dual channel um, you know, memory, using up two slots. We'll also have two slots free. The cast latency on this is 9. And that's the timings are something you don't really need to get into if you don't understand it. Um, you may be looking at all kinds of different RAM and all that, and you're thinking like, well, this one's 1600 megahertz, but what about the ones that are 2400 megahertz? You're not going to really need to worry about that. Um, for games, it's never going to do. It's not going to do anything. For the GPU, uh, we got the the Zotac uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti, and um, this one's a decent graphics card. Now, the nice thing about this graphics card is you can play most games at really high settings at 720p and even 1080p as long as you keep the filters turned off. I, I'm i okay with the filters turned off. It's not that big of a deal to me, but some people really have to have the filters on at all times. I find that the games look pretty damn good even without the filters, especially if you're playing, you know, you're sitting back from the computer a little bit. If you're right up on it, you can see the jagged edges. Yeah, you're gonna turn the filters on, but you know, for 119 bucks, I cannot argue with this. Now another option, and I'll get into more of these options when we're doing our, you know, buy it on eBay, used video, but just go onto eBay and look for 280X, uh, the R9 280X from uh, from AMD. I've got it backwards here, I'm not sure why. Just, yeah, Radeon R9 290X. And uh, just see what you can find. I mean, if you can get one for around 125 bucks, it's a steal, and it'll be a very fast 1080p, 1440p game, you know, gaming card. You can game most games 1440p okay, even on high settings, uh, and just about anything. 1080p with that graphics card so like i said we'll do more of those in the used you know video but it's good for now for the storage i wanted to give you guys an option that had uh you know at least a little bit of storage for all your games so we moved the western digital wd 3200 uh, AA js and this is a 320 gigabyte hard drive for 28 dollars it is ridiculously cheap it's also one of the cheapest 7200 rpm hard drives out there on the market reviews are decent and uh yeah, we've had a few of these you know in and out of the office they're just you know, they just work. They're decent. Um, you guys can step up and get a, a faster hard drive. Another option uh, is this. If you already have an old computer or something like that and you're going to be stealing some parts from it, maybe there's like an old hard drive in there or something, well, you can steal an old hard drive for that. And then for around $50, uh, you can get a decent SSD. Uh, look at some of the Samsung models, some of the ADATA models. For the case, Fractal Design Core 1100. Now, the Fractal Design is a very uh, clean case just really clean nice scandinavian design um it's in the, on the inside it's kind of an open space where you can do you know whatever you want there's room to mount plenty of stuff on the inside i mean it's just going to be a little home for your system um it's not going to be completely silent or anything like that it's got a very just almost almost minimal or monolithic aesthetic if you're someone who wants like something with a bit more of a gamer aesthetic there is stuff out there like i think azo or whatever makes some stuff and I don't know, you guys can find it, but they're usually more plasticky than this. And uh, this is a better build quality than most of that stuff as well. All right, for the power supply, you need some really nice, clean power going to your system. This EVGA 500 watt 80 plus certified power supply uh, is really decent for the money. So there you see it's $44.22. Yeah, you guys can cheap out and go with like a $20 power supply, but um, it may melt your entire system. I never cheap out on the power supply. And this is about as cheap as I will go, but it also is 80 plus certified and I haven't had any problem with the EVGA power supplies that I've used so far. They use decent components and um, I'm not even sure how they keep the price so low, but the, the bottom line is if you use something cheap, it could, you know, there could be a surge, it could short out. Uh, if something goes wrong with it, it, it it's, it's not just going to die. It's going to take something with it. It's going to take, oh, I've fried the North Bridge or oh no, I've fried your motherboard or Oh, I've sent, uh, you know, a jolt to your graphics card and now it's dead. Or, you know, it's, it can do a lot of bad things. So don't cheap out on, the, on the, uh, the power supply and you'll be a happy person. So anyway, that system will run circles around any console. The only thing it won't do is play some of the console exclusives. But you guys know that there are more exclusives on the PC than there are on any console. With backwards compatibility, ROMs. You guys can play everything from Super Nintendo, Nintendo games, Wii games. All that you can play on your PC. That's right, even Wii games. And we've got a video showing you guys how to do that. So welcome to the PC, everybody. Uh, if this is going to be your first gaming system, come over to the forum uh, and, and just tell us what you guys are doing with it. Uh, tell us if you're having fun, if you guys are learning to program as well, or maybe using your brand new system uh, for some productivity, uh, some learning. That could be really cool. Let us know what you're doing in, in that regard. Because, you know, these things are, are, are 400 bucks 
or whatever, maybe a little, little more, a little more, a little less, depending on the sales. But um, you're spending the money if you use it as a learning tool. It could become a resource for you, and then you may be able to make your money back. So look at it that way. PC, yeah, feels good, doesn't it? Also, um, I want to let you guys know that I, I never like to tell you guys exactly what to buy. That's why I don't make as many of these as I used to. I, I like to try to tell you how to buy. You know what I mean? Like what to look for. So, in all these things, these are these are all suggestions. But when I say like you know to, to get the Zotac, well, that one was on sale right now, and I know the Zotac is a decent brand. But you know, if you see an MSI a Windforce for around the same price or an EVGA for around the same price, go ahead and let us know about it on the forum. Uh, you know, the Asus products are, are, are decent. Sapphire products are really nice for AMD parts. So you don't have to stick to this, but this should give you a good starting point. And then you can take a look at, you know, the other competing products uh, in each category. But if you stick to sort of this as an outline, it will give you probably the best bang for your buck at the, around the $400 mark. And you'll get the highest FPS for around $400 as well. So that's the end of that. No more ranting, no more talking and uh, enjoy being a PC gamer. We'll see you guys in the forum. Mm -hmm.